Hey Jackals, do you have at least two monitors and you want to use them in DaVinci Resolve? I'll show you how. Now let's get digital. If you want to enable this option, you do need the studio version, but I'll show you everything so that you know if this is something that you need. So what you can do, let's say you have media opened, effects opened, the inspector opened, so the window is cluttered, as you can see, what you can do is go to workspace, dual screens, and turn this to on. Now everything that you don't see is on my other monitor that I'll show you in a second. And what you can also do is go to workspace again, dual screen, and turn full screen timeline. And now I only have the timeline and the inspector and the meters. And now I'll go to the other screen. Now this is my second monitor. You probably don't see everything, just about to here and some black on the right side. And that is because this monitor is set in the portrait mode. If I put it into the landscape mode, then you would also see everything that is being recorded. Now let's go back to the main monitor and disable this dual screen. Now, if you have more than two displays, I don't, but those would show up under the primary display, so you can also select which one is primary. And the option that I've used in recent project was the video clean feed. By default, it is selected to none, and you can select one of the secondary monitors. In this case, if I would select this monitor, it would show up in the portrait monitor and I can also show you that. So let me go to OBS, select it like so. Probably it shows up, but I can't do anything with the second monitor. If I click on the desktop, the screen disappears. And now let me show you how I actually use this video clean feed. Now this is something that I was working on and as my second monitor, I use the whole wall. And how can you use a whole wall as a monitor? You use a projector. Now let me show you how I made the animations. I used a polygon in this example, a background node. I changed the color to red so that I could see what I was doing. I connected this to the output. And because the polygon was empty, the background was transparent, as you can see. Now I'll simply add another background node, this one will be black, make sure that it's in the background. Now the wall won't be black because projectors can't make a black light, but it won't have any lights. Now I'll simply make a simple shape by eyeballing it on the wall. And let me just reposition it down so that you can see both the monitor and the wall in the back how this looks like. So something like this, you can see the monitor and you can see the wall. And now all that you have to do is position the points of the polygon to outline the shape that you want. Now is this the best way to do something like this? It could be if you have DaVinci Resolve Studio and you don't need the wall projection to be changed on the fly. If you do need to change the wall projection, then something like Mad Mapper and Resolum Rina would be a better solution. And that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital.